Hey everyone, so for breakfast today, I'm going to be making skillet potatoes with onions. So make sure you stick around for this easy recipe. So I'm using about five russet potatoes here. And let me just say this, I am so happy to be back making cooking videos. This is my second video since we have relocated. So if you did not check out those vlogs, make sure you check them out and I will be uploading more, okay? So as you can see, I've already rinsed the potato. I've peeled it and now I'm gonna to begin to cut this into thin slices. Make sure that you set aside a bowl of water so that once you slice up your potato, you can um, place the potato slices into the water so that they don't oxidize and turn brown. So you wanna slice them into slices about this size. It's not too thick, not too thin, okay? Just in between. So now finish slicing your potato place it into the water and I'm gonna finish up with the remaining four potatoes and I will be right back. So now I'm gonna take this onion here and I'm gonna cut about a quarter chunk. I'm gonna turn it sideways and cut down into the onion making half moon slices. When you slice your onion, make sure that you just take the time to pull the pieces apart. Add some oil. This is only about two tablespoons. Then I'm going to drop in some butter. Okay, I'm using black pepper, salt, onion powder, paprika, thyme, and parsley. So you just wanna make sure that you bring this oil and butter up to temperature and that it is really, really hot and ready for frying before you drop those potatoes inside. So from here, this is pretty simple. My heat setting was like on medium high. I've added in, I've added in the potatoes. Now you want to season them. You want to season them before they begin to uh, get softer. Yeah, because you wanna season them while they are hard so that you can mix all of those seasonings into the potatoes and not worry about the potatoes breaking apart. So when you season it, look, just eyeball it. Just, you know, sprinkle the seasoning on top. You just want to make sure the entire top layer of the potatoes is covered. And then you're going to mix it all in together with the spatula. So I went back in with just a little salt and some parsley. And I'm going to cover this with the lid for about five minutes and let this cook. So now I'm gonna add my onions in and allow this to continue to cook. You can keep your heat on medium high. Just make sure that you monitor your food so that it's not burning, okay? Cover it with the lid to allow those potatoes to begin to get tender. So now I'm just gonna let this continue to cook, okay? So, um all right, so I'm gonna zoom out here, okay? So this is what our skillet potatoes are looking like right now. They are just about done, okay? The, uh, some of the onions have caramelized. So what I like to do is, I'm gonna take a fork and I like to taste my potatoes. Okay, so when they are just about tender, that's when now you want to add some water. If your potatoes need a little more salt, you can go ahead and add that. So I'm adding in some salt right now. I'm gonna mix it up. And you wanna be very careful not to break the potatoes. Okay. I'm gonna give it another sample here okay so they're fine they're perfect for me I'm gonna go ahead and add in some water okay so now from here you're just gonna smother them a little bit with the water that you added okay and that was not a lot of water that was only about uh maybe three tablespoons maybe 
So yeah, you wanna add in that water, decrease the heat. I like to add in just a little more parsley for presentation. And I'm gonna add in just a hair more of pepper. And now I'm going to smother these on low for maybe about five to 10 minutes or so. Then I'll be right back. All right, so here's the finished result of the skillet potatoes. They are done. I'm sorry, I could not give you guys a better look at this. I could not find um, one of my lights, so yeah. I just tried to use the kitchen light in here um you know to help out with the lighting but this is the finished result and these are super super good they pair really well with like some eggs some bacon and i'm actually going to make some french toast as well with this so i'm going to turn this off and from here they're done they're done and these are so delicious so 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 delicious Mm -hmm. thank you guys for watching i have a better video next time okay but thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i hope to catch you in my next video